Yeah, Jason Salzman. I'm the press secretary for the Muscogee Nation. How do I spell your last name? S-A-L-S-M-A-N. Jason, traditional spelling? Yes, sir. Sorry. What happened? Um, right now, very early initial stages of the investigation and search, but uh, what we do have is a two-year-old boy that went missing. Um, our parents noticed missing this morning uh, around 6.30, approximately a.m., uh, and then no searched for a second and then notified the authorities. And um, now we have multiple agencies out here assisting uh, with our Muscogee Creek Nation Light Horse Police. Um, we've got the FBI out here, OHP. Uh, OHP will be sending in their aircraft here uh, momentarily, uh, just a few moments. And uh, we've also got uh, Oklahoma Emergency Management, Bloodhounds. Um, we've got the Task Force One team, uh, which is a very uh, high intense search and rescue team out here uh, with canines. Uh, we've also got water rescue teams from uh, Wagner County, I believe, just came in, um, and also our own emergency management department, uh, which coordinates with all of these agencies on a regular basis. Um, so there are multiple agencies and lots and lots of resources out here searching for this child. Is there a water feature on the property? I, I don't know at this time. Uh, that's all uh, a, a part of the investigation. They're looking into everything that they can. Is there any indication of even what direction he went? Yeah, at this time, not really. You know, they're following all of those leads, of whether they can find tracks or uh, anything that might indicate some sort of direction uh, that the child possibly went, anything like that. So they're just chasing down every single lead that they can on the investigation. Is he nonverbal? Will he, if you call his name out? I don't know if that's been indicated to anyone. Has, is the dog still gone too? I, no, I don't know anything about the dog. Sorry. Uh, you've had members of the public coming out here saying, can I help? What are you telling those folks? Um, you know, in a situation like this, of course, you appreciate a community coming together, especially in a time where there's a child missing. Um, but at the same time, I just listed off all of those agencies and those professionals, and they've got a job to do. And I think, uh, with all due respect, uh, that job can only be hindered by, by people coming and, and everything like that. So um, the investigation, the rescue, and, and search is well underway. Um, like I said, though, is in the initial stages. They need all the space and they need all the time and, uh, and you know, maneuverability that they, they can get right now. And I think that that just hurts. So. Have you all ruled out an abduction or a kidnapping situation? I couldn't speculate at this time, just for the sake of the investigation. So. Yeah. What is the, you know, he's two, yeah. so a baby. Mm -hmm. What is the, is there a certain amount of time that, you know, 24 hours or yeah. two hours or, you know? I, I think as far as, as if you're asking the window maybe which he disappeared I you know all I can speculate is from the time frame that the professionals have and the law enforcement officers have that had to have been somewhere you know from the, you know early morning to when they realized he wasn't there so do you all believe he's barefoot out there do you know or uh, the last known uh, information we had on his clothing was that he's wearing like footy pajamas so uh, with uh, black pajamas with uh, neon or bright colored dinosaurs on them. Um, and so uh, to, to me, I, I, you know, that's speculation again, whether they were footy pajamas or not. Um, but, but I don't believe he's barefoot if he has on those pajamas that were described to us already. Is the family out in the woods with you? I, I don't know. Are they being about the family? I, again, I, I leave that up to the law enforcement officials, but right now they're just investigating everything. What happens next? Uh, just searching everywhere we can find um, and look. Um, as you can see, you know, we're not in a, an urban area out here. There's a lot of ditches. There's a lot of places out there. Um, so I, I will say, though, uh, not very long ago, unfortunately, I stood in front of cameras just like this on another missing child case, um, which had a great outcome. And, and so we're praying, we're believing, and we're letting these guys do their job. The wonderful thing about it is, is that, you know, uh, you don't, give up hope or anything like that until until you let them do their job so the the, um, the places that he could be are are you know in this area they're looking they're they're chasing every lead they can is there a rush to get this done before the sun sets uh you know i couldn't speculate on that i know that they have their time frames that they want to shoot for um, I do, I would say that, you, you know, of course you want to search in the, in the, in the dark, I mean, not in the dark, uh, you want to search when there's uh, daylight out and that's probably uh, a good thing that this happened early in the day and they're going to have plenty of the rest of the day and, and 
to, to find them. And, and like I said, OHP's got their, um, you know, aircraft coming in. We've got every resource you could imagine. Uh, Choctaw Nation, our friends at the Choctaw Nation are here. Um, our friends at the Chickasaw Nation are here. Um, it seems like everybody is just sending uh, all hands on deck, which is uh, is a good thing, and, and we're just praying for the best. Is, is, is this family tribal? Is that why y'all got involved? The or? father is tribal okay. from, from our involvement, yes. Okay. All right. I think I'm good. Yeah. All right. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you all much.